Hey guys, it's Oz Creates, and today we're gonna do an unboxing, setup, and demo of Spirit Halloween's Experiment 4. Alright, so this is an animatronic that I've wanted for a little while now. Um, they released it in 2021, and they haven't made it since. It's very small, but it is a great jump scare. And I would definitely recommend to get him because he is very, he's not a very easy setup, but he is a great scare. All right, let's open up the box and see what we've got inside. Okay, so we have all of the wall pieces for the box, the cool cage one with the fabric and the wall, all the sides and the top wall and then in the bottom of the box here we've got a smaller box that has the hand which is kind of cool it feels like it's a really good type of material hand but it's very cool and creepy it looks like maybe like a devil hand or something and it's red and it has great detail on the fingernails and on just the hand itself Okay, we have the control box, the screws, the mechanism, all of the poles, and the sensor, and then we have all the little pole connector pieces. Let me get rid of the box and set everything out, and then we'll get into the setup. All right, so we got everything set out here. The poles, the big ones, the sensor ones, the small ones, the hand, the mechanism, the control box, the walls, the screws, and you will need a screwdriver. So we've got everything set out here now, and the first step is gonna be to start making these. So the box, the little poles will go up straight, and the larger poles will kinda go on the bottom, and on the top. So what we're gonna do here is start by making the front of the box by using this piece. This is the piece that has the sensor and the light on it. So you want to make sure the little black sensor hole is sticking out and then you'll just push that right in. And then we're going to do the same thing with these little connectors on the sides. I would definitely make sure that they're in tight because it has a very quick movement and that could cause it to fall out. All right, so here's the front of our box. Let me turn it to the side now and get these cords out of the way. And the second part will be taking again these metal poles and putting them up here like this. down here on this side like this and now we have more of the box kind of shape so the next step is going to be finishing off the box by putting these two up here and I am missing two of these I'm trying to contact spirit to get me to send them some more but you would put two down here and I don't really need them but they do keep the structure more strong and tight so I would definitely make sure that you have them. All right, so then you put this one up here like that. And then these two going down here like this. All right, and then I do have the bottom pole that goes here, but I have it connected to one of our pieces over there. All right, the next step for this is to put on the mechanism. Now there is a bit of screwing work to the mechanism and stuff, so I'm going to skip that part. But what you're gonna basically do is you're gonna take your hand and your mechanism, and you're going to slide the hand right into there 
and then you're gonna screw a screw into that little hole so the hand doesn't fall out of the mechanism when it jumps out. Let me go quickly do that and I'll be right back. All right, so I got the screw in, so now the hand won't fall out. And the next step is to make sure your sensor is at the front and this little piece back here is at the back. You're gonna just put this down here and in the front of this pole there's a little snap lock and at the back there's a little snap lock. So what you're gonna do is you're going to slide it into there push the little snap lock down and put it in. You might have to do both at the same time to get it to do well, but I don't here. So you might need a second person for this part. But right here at the front, you'll put the snap lock down and put it in right there. And then make sure that it's nice and straight and centered on the pole. And then after that, we're going to put on the mechanism. So it's basically like, kind of like hanging a picture if you've ever done it. You put it in and then it should slide right down like that. Okay, next step we'll be putting in some more screws right here. So let me go do that quickly. And then I will also wire it up so we can get on to the next step. All right, so I got all the screws in, the ones up here and back here to help support it so it doesn't fly around. And I got all the wires plugged in, the wire for the mechanism, the wire for the light, and the wire for the sensor. So the next step we'll be putting on the panels. They're super cool and detailed panels. This is the top one and it has a huge scratch and holes on, in it. This is one the back or one of the side panels. No, these are the two side panels and these go on the sides and they're super cool with scratches. Here's the front panel and it looks super cool. It has a cage effect and the hand can jump out through there. And this is the back panel. So the first step will be actually putting on the two side panels. So let me turn right here a box, kind of, like this so you guys can see it. And the side panels, these are super easy to do. You just position it like this and they have screws in them to make it look more detailed and to hold little pieces. And it just snaps right onto the pole. So you kind of have to line it up to make sure you get it right, but it just snaps right in. So you have to do that on all the four corners, and there we go. Now let me flip it around and do the next side. Very easy to do, which is nice. There we go. And now the last Next one will be the front one. And you gotta line it up so the sensor can come through right there. And so the light comes through at the bottom. And then again, this one just kind of goes over the side too. And snaps onto the top pole and the bottom pole. Okay. And now the top. Wait, no, we have to do the back one first. And that, again, just snaps in on the top and the bottom. Okay. You have to line it up perfectly, though, because it has to slide over the other ones. There we go. There we go. Perfect. And then... You will have to put batteries in this one, or you can use a plug. I use batteries in this because it is a lot easier to run the, it's a lot easier so you don't have to run the cords out. But then you would snap the top piece on like that, and that is the completion of the setup. It's super creepy box, and it's very big, which is super cool. Let me um, quickly put batteries in it and get it plugged in, and we'll do the daytime demo. All right, so I have it all set up now and I have it plugged into my Spirit Halloween pull switch. So let's do the daytime demo. Here we go. take it a minute to reset but it is super cool let me grab the camera so we can get a close-up
there's the inside with all the mechanism parts. Let's do one more daytime demo. Now let's go to the night demo. Alright, so there he was, Spirit Halloween's Experiment 4. I would definitely recommend this guy. He's a great animatronic, and I think he will do great in any lab haunts or scary scenes where you're showing off creatures or something like that. I would definitely say he's a great one, and you should definitely get him if you can find one for a good price. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!